Hello there, my name is Mike Griffin and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. September is National Preparedness Month and all Americans should have an emergency supply kit for them at home for them and their family just in case an emergency or disaster occurs. This short video will show you a very simple way to put that kit together for you and your family to survive for at least three days. Now I like to say or tell people get a Rubbermaid classic a tub like this one with a top on it. This is where you can put all your stuff in there, pack it away, or put it somewhere safe, and if you ever need it, you take it out. Now, the most important things are like food. You want canned food or non-perishable items like uh, peanut butter, crackers, uh, nuts, cereal, uh, dried meat, things like that that don't require any preparation uh, or refrigeration. And most importantly with that, you also want a a mechanical can opener to open those can goods. You also need plenty of water. You need plenty of bottled water for you and your family. You also need a flashlight. You need uh, batteries. A no weather radio that's battery operated. You also need uh, some simple to tools in case uh, you need them or things happen like duct tape, uh, screwdriver, wrench, things like that. And you also need a uh, a metal pot to possibly uh, cook in if you uh, need to do that. Other things that are less forgotten about is a possibly a map. A map uh, of the local area because you got to realize if there is a disaster or emergency there, not, there might not be any power and your phone might not work or your smartphone that might not work so you might not have an electronic way to, to look at maps if you need a map so it's always good to have a paper copy. Other things that are good to have is, and, and put this in a, a protective uh, plastic covering, um, is important papers like home insurance papers, um, things, things like that, and put that away as well in this tub. Uh, also, it's a good idea to have some cash on hand and put that in those important papers as well together and put that in the tub because of power might be out or the phone lines might be out. Communication might be down so credit cards and debit cards won't work in that type of emergency or disaster so cash is always good to have on hand. And last but not least it's always a good idea to have some medication. Uh, some simple medication or prescription medication put it in the bag and some toiletries, uh, sanitary toiletries, things like that. Also put it all, all the bag and put that in there as well. If you have pets uh, also make sure you have some pet food for them to last them a couple days as well. So these are just the basic items. If you want a f more of a list, you can go to ready.gov and look on the build a kit and there's a plenty of information on there uh, that will help you build a simple kit for you and your family at home. Again, thank you for joining us. This is Mike Griffin with the National Weather Service showing you how to build a simple emergency kit at home.